the best part of waking up isn't Folgers in your cup. And I'll tell you why. So here's the quick story. My husband was diagnosed with a very serious ailment, I guess we'll call it, and we were having to stay in Lufkin for a really long time and he really couldn't do anything and we couldn't go anywhere and we travel all the time. We have for 30 years and so this was like a really changing lifestyle. Well, we're bored stiff, especially me. And it dawned on us like, well, let's go find a coffee shop. So we found a coffee shop downtown and it was a really quaint downtown, lots of signs and fun things. And so, okay, so the history part of me was getting some uh, information, which was good. So we started having these coffee dates on Saturday. And we came here every Saturday for months and months during his rehabilitation. And now we're traveling again. Have you hit the subscribe button yet? Hit the thumbs up. Go to some homegrown coffee shop. Not one of those chain ones that are, well, you know, they're good for, they're, they're good in their own place and all that. But try to find a local coffee shop and uh, check out their coffee. You know what, half the time I don't like the coffee. It gives me a stomach ache, but the whole idea is fun. And uh, we get to try and find some new places and meet some new people. And we're going to be showing you some of our really cool coffee dates. I want to recommend that you go on a coffee date. It doesn't cost that much. It's kind of fun. You can sit across the table and talk to each other. You don't do this counter thing. I just came up here so I could record this because it's kind of loud in here. It's got concrete floors and high ceilings. And when people talk, it's loud. So I wanted you to be able to hear what I had to say today. Look for future coffee dates. Try one. You'll like it. And classic road trip flip-flops on the ground.